what's up Brim fam um I know it's been a good probably like two weeks two three weeks since uh we've posted anything um this is gonna be a quick little update video I kind of just wanted to fill everybody in um and let y'all know what's going on so um I'm honestly not going to get too much into detail, but um, about a week after we posted our last video, um, we had a family member pass away. Um, it was my father. My father passed and um, he was living in Arizona, so it was a crazy week. Um, it was in the beginning of the week when I found out that he was in the hospital and he wasn't doing good. So pretty much I left work. Um, my husband came home, picked up the boys from school, we packed and we left for Arizona. And we were pretty much in Arizona majority of the week and then towards the end of the week was when we were driving back. And unfortunately, yeah, my dad did pass and um, that's just something that we've been kind of going through right now. We're mourning. Um, my father was, uh, was young. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't old or anything. He was, he was only, uh, 62. So it was definitely something not, uh, really expected, um, <clears throat> this soon. So, uh, so I, we've been in mourning and, you know, me, uh, just been kind of, you know, got a lot of emotions that I need to, that I'm sorting through and going through, stuff like that, but, um, but we are going to continue, I just want to let y'all, but I just want to let y'all know, give y'all an update what's going on and why we haven't been posted. No, we haven't, you know, quit or anything, um, we still have the plans for next year that I was kind of telling you a little bit about just uh, like a little bit of a change in what we uh i guess record or what is it called a change in i guess like the type of videos that we'll be making we'll still be vlogging but we'll be making some other types of videos too so we've just been brainstorming and preparing for that as well but um but yeah um it's been a tough time it has but we do have a lot of support um, family, friends, our church family too, um, and if I didn't have the support that I have, um, we, I'd probably be handling this a lot different. So I'm very grateful, very blessed for, you know, the family that I do have and, you know, I'm just taking it day by day and I am reminding myself that even though it was unexpected and all that, um, you know, I just know that, um, Yes, it's upsetting, but at the same time, we can't be completely upset because I know that where my father is now, um, whatever problems, whatever hurt, whatever stress he was feeling here on earth, all that's completely gone now. And he's living, you know, his eternal life with our Lord and Savior. And um, initially, that's that's what the plan that uh, that God has for us. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's what's comforting me. I think a lot of the fact of the religion that I have, you know, being a Christian, you know, helps out a lot, too. So um, I'm very grateful, very blessed, like I said. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on. Um, it is Christmas Eve. Um, I'm not going to be vlogging too much today because we're going to be christmas eve is when we're usually the ones going to this person's house and this person's house and that person's house so just like thanksgiving i'm gonna forget to record and all that stuff and plus i don't feel know if people are comfortable being recorded so um I'll, we'll probably vlog tomorrow our christmas um we always spend christmas at our house and then my mom comes over, David's mom comes over, and we exchange gifts, and then we cook, like, dinner and stuff. So, I'll vlog that. We'll be home all day. It'll be fun. Um, 
we'll make breakfast. Well, we'll probably honestly open presents first. While we're opening pre presents, David will probably be making breakfast, waiting for my mom, his mom to come over, you know, just hanging out. My mom and I are going to attempt to make tamales. Um, I've never made them before. My mom says she remembers how my grandma would make them. Um, my grandma, my dad's side. So we are going to make those and then we'll cook dinner. We're just going to do like steaks. I'm going to attempt to make the viral TikTok uh, roast potatoes, roasted potatoes, the you know, the real crunchy ones that are soft on the inside with some gravy. So I hope they come out good. Um, and we're going to do like asparagus and I'll probably do like a side salad or like corn and stuff like that for people that, you know, don't like asparagus. Um, but yeah, we're, that's the plan for tomorrow. Probably the kids playing with all their games that they got for Christmas and from us and from Santa and everything. So we'll probably be in our PJs all day. That's usually what happens. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, like I said, I just want to give everybody an update. N yes, we are coming back, you guys. Um, and yes, we still have the plans for next year. We're working on them. So, um, thank you for sticking along. Thank you for watching us this year. Um, and uh, it hasn't been a full year that we've been on YouTube, but I am very grateful for each and every one of you that have subscribed and that do watch our videos. And if you don't want, if you aren't subscribed, but you do watch our videos, please subscribe and like and leave comments. You guys, as you know, the comments are the ones that are going to help me know how what you guys want to watch and of course the likes too i know what you like and what you don't like so um you know thank you to everyone out there i hope everybody has a merry christmas and let's not forget what uh christmas is about of course it's about spending time with your family and you know um you know, giving to others and stuff like that. But the biggest thing about Christmas is that our Lord and Savior was born. Um, he was brought to this earth to save us from our sins. And he fulfilled, uh, you know, his, his, uh, his plan that God had for him here. And, um, and he saved us from our sins and we are forever saved. And, uh, we will spend forever eternity with our Lord when we pass and uh um as long as we follow him and uh and we accept him as our lord and savior so that's the main thing about christmas um that we need to remember and just to be blessed and re be remindful of everything we have in our lives no matter the bad that we're going through uh that's something that i've been reflecting on a lot this past uh few days is that i we're going through so much right now but we also have so much more that God has given us and I'm very grateful and I'm just soaking it all in. I'm thanking him for it every day right now um, because, you know, we could have a lot less. And even if we do have a lot less, we we can still find happiness. Um, but he has blessed us with, with a lot, more than probably what we need. And um, I'm very grateful for that. And of course, it is always better to give than to receive. Um, <clears throat> so there's that too. Um, just enjoy this time, you know, with your family or your friends. If you don't have family, uh, your friends, um, people that are close to you, your loved ones, pets, anything, you guys, it's, you know, it's just celebrating. Um, so I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks.
Board games, new Crocs with Croc charms. Making food. Barbacoa? No, I'm okay. I don't want it. I just messed, made a mess in my microwave. I heard it explode. Yup, big old mess in my microwave. And I always have a clean. <laughs> What's up, Ram Fam? So that was a little bit of our Christmas. Um, I know I said I was going to show probably more of our Christmas than our Christmas Eve. Um, but to be honest, you guys, it's still a little tough. You know, my father just passing and then having the holidays and... And it was just a bunch of confusing mixed feelings and stuff. I just kind of wanted to spend it with my family and be in the moment and stuff like that. Not that I wouldn't with you guys, but I just, you know, it was one of those. But so the boys enjoyed all their gifts. Um, but, you know, it's not about the gifts you get. It's the gifts you give and spending time with your family. And, you know, we prayed before we opened our gifts, you know, thanking our Lord and Savior for saving us and the fact that we were celebrating him because it was his day. Um, so it was nice. My mom came over. Well, as you can see, my mother-in-law came over, made breakfast for us. Then uh, my mom came over, we made tamales, we made steak for dinner. It was really nice. And we were just in our pajamas all day. But let me show you what uh, David got me for Christmas because I wasn't expecting this and I didn't think I would need this, but I love it. So he got me my own vanity and he put it together and it has all these drawers, this little chair. I'll probably get a different chair like one with the back, um, but it's awesome. And over here it has like the, you can't really see, but it has like the plug-in and it even has like for USB. So I, this is what I'm saying, like I didn't think I needed this because he kept telling me it's something you need, it's something you need until... I was like, he gave it to me and I'm like, wow, now I have a place to do everything because he's like, I noticed that you do your makeup on the bed and then you're doing your hair in the restroom and our restroom, the way it is, it's, it's a single sink. So he has one side, I have the other side and it's just kind of tough, you know, going and it's a, it's a small little hallway. It's not like very big. So for him to go behind me, you know, while I'm doing my hair and stuff. So if like he notices things, things that I don't even notice. So sweet. It took him, he took his time building this together, um, which was fine with me because I was like, take your time. Like, I know it could get frustrating and stuff. So it took him like two days, but I mean, it went smooth and it went good. And yeah, I love it. Um, but I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and I hope everybody has a Happy New Year. And Weddell's birthday's coming up. So it's crazy. Right after Christmas, I'm planning a birthday party, you guys. And so it's, the presents don't end. The money doesn't stop getting spent. But it's worth it. What else turning five? He's so excited. I can't believe I'm a five-year-old. He cut his hair, you guys. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I cried. My Weddle has always had long hair. Um, he's never been a big fan of cutting it. I mean, not like long to like like mine long. Like I always said he, I mean y'all seen him he has that boy 90s style boy band hair and i love it and he has such beautiful hair it's all straight and shiny and thick and but like fluffy at the same time like he has beautiful hair and i'm i'm sure it's a combination of him getting older him wanting to do what his big brother does and stuff um 
but he cut it and he cut it similar to how Kaysen cuts it and I mean he looks handsome he looks handsome it's so cute his face his face just looks chunky he looks so handsome and I love it but I did cry I was like oh I miss the short hair I guess like for sure he's not a baby anymore <laughs> but I'll be okay he looks awesome and like my seven-year-old said, the good thing is mommy hair grows back. So he put me in my place. But uh, yeah, he's going to be turning five. So that'll be exciting. But I hope everybody has a happy holidays, a happy new year. Um, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.